Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with J. Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, as promised in the previous session, I'll be looking at the cost volume profit analysis question that is taken from May 2019 accounting unit two paper. And that is question 3A. You're seeing part two. Yes, this is part two because in the previous lesson, I've looked at calculating the results using the budgeted figures. For this session, I'll be using the actual figures. Let us review the question. Unique design manufacturers, product 753. The company has budgeted to produce 650 units to be sold for $23,000 per unit. I am not looking at the first table because that is the budgeted figures. We are working the actual one, so I'm using the second table. The following actual costs were incurred during the last quarter when 600 units were produced. Direct material, the cost is for the 600 units is $3,478,000. For direct labor, to get the 600 units produced, it is $1,755,000. The variable overhead is $495,000, while the fixed cost is $5,000,000. And you're required to calculate break-even in units, margin of safety, and the number of units that must be sold if the company wants to make a total profit of $4,000,000. $306,500 for the quarter. Let's review the formula to calculate the break even in points. And that is simply the fixed cost divided by a contribution margin. But remember, in order for you to do your actual calculation, because the contribution margin is not readily available, you have to calculate contribution margin, and that is the selling price minus the variable cost. So let's go and do our calculations. Remember, you must write your formula when you're doing your responses. So let us begin by calculating the contribution margin, but I must point out to you guys that what we have available for the variable cost is a total cost relating to the 600 units. So we need a cost per unit. So we have to calculate the variable cost per unit first. So let's proceed to do that. So it is variable cost per unit. To calculate that, it is the direct material cost plus the direct labor cost plus the variable overhead. And once we add those together, we are going to divide. We are going to divide by the number of units. So divide by number of units. So let's do our calculation. And the first figure that I'll be picking up is the direct material cost, which is 3,478,000 to that we're going to add the 1,755,000 which is the direct labor and to that we're going to add the 495,000 which represents the variable overhead and remember we are dividing that by the number of units so therefore we are going to divide by the 600 units because the actual number of units is 600. Now based on calculation we're going to divide a total variable cost of 5,728,000. We're going to divide that by the number of units. And the number of units, people, again, is 600. After calculating, we get a variable cost of 9,000. $547 per unit. Now that we have this, we can then calculate our contribution margin. And remember that is the selling price minus the variable cost. So it is 23,000 minus the variable cost per unit, which is 9,547. And this gives us a result of $13,453 for our contribution per unit. 
now that we have the contribution per unit people, we can move into calculating our break even in units. And remember, that is the fixed cost divided by the contribution margin. And remember, people, you need to write your formula. So let us calculate the break even in units. And to get that, remember, it is our fixed cost. And our fixed cost is $5 million, so 5 million divided by the contribution margin of 13,453. And this gives us a break even point in units of 371.6, but I'm going to round that off to the nearest whole number. So it is 372 units or our break even point. All right. Now that we have completed part I, we can calculate the margin of safety, which is part two. Now, in order for us to calculate margin of safety, let's review the formula. That's selling units minus break even units. So let's do our workings for the margin of safety in units. Now, remember coming from the question, our actual units is 600 and our break even that was calculated in part one is 372 units. So now that we have those, we can then calculate our margin of safety. And don't forget to write your formula. So the margin of safety, remember, that is the selling, the sales unit minus the break even units, and that is 600 minus the 372. And this gives us a margin of safety of 228 units. Now, there's another way in which you can calculate your margin of safety, and we are going to look at that formula. And that is margin of safety in dollars which is equal to sales dollars minus break even sales dollars. And let us move into doing our calculation. The sales dollars is the 600 units multiplied by the selling price per unit of 23,000. And from that, we are going to subtract the break even in dollars. So that is the 372 multiplied by the 23,000. And to break that down some more, it is $13,800,000 minus $8,556,000. And then that will give us a result of $5,244,000. So that is if you calculated your safety your margin of safety in dollars, okay? We can now move into part three, where we're asked to calculate the number of units that must be sold if the company wants to make a total profit of $4,306,500. Let's review the formula in calculating that. And it is break even point in units. We're gonna pick up our fixed cost plus our targeted profit and divide that by contribution margin. And remember, we have calculated the contribution margin earlier. So we can then go into our calculation for part three. So remember to write your formula. And uh, after writing your formula, you pick up your figures, make sure you pick up the correct figures. Our fixed cost is $5 million. To that, we're going to add the targeted profit of $4,306,500. And then we're going to divide by the contribution margin, where the contribution margin is 13,453. And remember, that was calculated in the first part to this question. Now, having done that, our result is 692 units. So if it is that the business want to generate a profit of 4,306,500 using the actual figures, they would have to sell 692 units. But there is another way in which you could calculate this 
And as a reminder, that formula is using the break-even point in dollars where you add your fixed cost and your targeted profit together and divide that by the contribution margin. But remember, you would have to ascertain your contribution margin. And to get that, it is contribution margin per unit divided by selling price per unit. So your contribution margin ratio is contribution margin per unit divided by your selling price per unit. So let's look at the alternative way in which you could calculate your number of units to be sold if it is that the business wants to generate the profit of $4,306,500. So let us do that calculation. The first thing that we need to calculate is the contribution margin ratio. And to get the ratio, people, remember that is your contribution margin per unit, which is 13,000. 453, and we are going to divide this by the selling price per unit, which is $23,000. And once you have done your calculation, enter the right figures accurately in the calculator, then you'll get a result of 0 0.58. And remember, if it is that you want the results in percentage, all you have to do is to multiply by 100, and that would give us 58%. We can proceed to calculate the break even in sales dollars. And uh, we need to pick up our fixed cost of 5 million. So our fixed cost is $5 million. And to that, we're going to add the targeted profit of 4,306,500. And then we're going to divide this. We're gonna divide this by the contribution margin ratio of 0 0.58, which is basically 58%. And uh, once you have accurately entered the values in your calculator, and the command in you're going to get a value of 16 million 45,690 dollars for the break even in dollars but remember we were asked to show the number of units we were asked to calculate the number of units that must be sold if the business wants to generate a profit of four million three hundred and six thousand five hundred so what we're gonna do now is to divide this 16 million $45,690 by the selling price per unit, which is $23,000. And this gave us a result of 698 units. So if it is that the business wants to generate this four million three hundred and six thousand five hundred using the contribution margin ratio and the break even season dollars, it would have to sell six hundred and ninety eight units. And this takes us to the end of this question and this session where we looked at the two thousand and nineteen number three a calculating our results in using the actual figures. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.